Hello friends of the French Foreign Legion, I am greeting you. For me, the French Foreign Legion have been or has been an extraordinary place where I've met some extraordinary people. Uh, and here today is the history of some of them. Men, I will never forget in my whole life. And the first history talks about Sliva. Sliva, he was a legionnaire. And I met him in uh, the year 1995 in Calvi Conrafali, so in second rep. I was meant to be deputy platoon leader. And by the way, platoon leader was the excellent uh, Antonio Lopez, the bush master of the French Foreign Legion. Uh, and um, Sliva, he was a kind of guy, not so tall, but very uh, rustic. Yeah? You could ask everything. You ask him to put a rucksack on his back with 50 kilos in it and march one day, two days, three days without stopping, without drinking. You know, he would do it. Yeah? He was always gentle. He was always smiling. He was so different, you know. And uh, one day in the evening, he was in Centre Amphibie, in, uh, in Calvi, close to the sea. I took him apart. I offered him a beer, a Cronenberg beer to drink with me. And then I asked him directly, what is your life story? Normally, you should not ask a legionnaire this, a question like this. Where do you come from? What is your story? And all this stuff. But I was really, really curious. Uh, and he always had the option to say, no, chef, I won't tell you my life story. Uh, uh, but he, he starts talking. And then he told me that he was a cousin of the Pope John Paul II. Great story. Extraordinary. And afterwards, I checked it out, you know. I made kind of background check and I asked people who should know it. And it was true. Sliva was a cousin of the Pope John Paul II. Stunning. The second extraordinary legionnaire I want to talk about is uh, Saito. I met Saito in 19... 87 and Saito was in the first company of the second rep, my first chef de group. Yeah? And I was a young caporal and he was a sergeant. He was my first chef de group. And Saito was the only Japanese guy we had in the second rep. You know, and uh, there's a history. One day we made uh, an exercise maneuver, you know, and we had to do an ambush. You know, and when you are in ambush, you destroy the enemy, you go over the enemy. And then you cover to the other side. Huh? And uh, you could hear the uh, voice of the platoon leader on the radio. Huh? Décrochage! Décrochage! It was the voice of Achiron Conta, our platoon leader. And uh, Saito, he didn't understand. He didn't understand the word décrochage. You know? And décrochage means get lost in space. Take your group and flee because enemy, other enemy is approaching. Yeah? So, uh, leave the place immediately. And uh, Saito, he understood. Sac de couchage. But, sac de couchage means sleeping bag. <laughs> so, instead of fleeing, he ordered his group to get out, get out of the rucksack, their sleeping bags, and go to sleep. <laughs> it was a funny story. So, uh, Saito, in the beginning, I hated him. Because he did not understand sometimes what you I want to say him. He was kind of bevkarot. Uh, but uh, he was a brilliant and excellent sous officier, NCO. And step by step by step, he climbed the ladder of career. And in the end of his uh, life in the French Foreign Legion, he was adjudant chef. Saito was killed in 2005 in Iraq in an ambush. Uh, and uh, I will always remember the Japanese guy, Saito, he was a real warrior of the French Foreign Legion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So the next uh, extraordinary gentleman of the French Foreign Legion I've met was Geiger. I'm talking about Adjutant Chef Geiger. I met him in 1985. I was a young legionnaire and he was Adjutant Chef. He was a Swiss guy, you know. And in French Guiana, we talked a lot because he was, he was able to speak German language. And I understood what he told him because I'm German, you know. <laughs> so we talked a lot. Sometimes we drank a beer together in the bar in the foyer du legionnaire. And he told me his story. 
When he was a young gentleman, a young guy, before joining the French Foreign Legion, he was member of the Swiss Air Force. You know, he was a military Swiss Air Force. And he was pilot. And his uh, plane was a Mirage fighting jet. And once he wanted to leave Switzerland for whatever reason. And he was uh, flying. He was up there in the air uh, in his Mirage. And then suddenly he turned direction France with his airplane, with his Mirage fighting jet. And he landed, <laughs> he landed in a landing zone in France. And uh, there he left his airplane. He went to the next uh, police office, a gendarmerie office, and he told them, hello, I'm coming from Switzerland. I'm landing with my fighting jet here. I want to join the French Foreign Legion. <laughs> and that's what he did. He spent a couple of days in jail and then uh, Gendarmerie brought him to the French Foreign Legion's door, recruiting office, and uh, that's the way he joined the French Foreign Legion. Stunning story, stunning history. Yeah? And uh, Geiger, he was uh, a very, very tough warrior. He was an excellent NCO, and I will never, ever forget adjutant chef Geiger. Yeah, last but not least, I will talk to you about Dominic Vandenberg, another extraordinary legionnaire and a very good friend of mine. I met Dominic in Calvi, in the first company of the second rep, in 1987. We have been in platoons different, in different platoons, and uh, Dominic was an excellent sportive man. Excellent sportsman. He was a Thai boxer. Maybe the best boxer I have seen in my life. And Dominic Vandenberg was a Belgium guy. Uh, and he was very friend with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm sure you know Jean-Claude Van Damme. And uh, of course, there's a story. The first company was going to have holiday, two weeks. As uh, Dominic Vandenberg uh, had a competition running, he wanted to go during the holiday to Burma to fight Zhao Bran. And Zhao Bran was the champion of his class in Thai boxing. Uh, and, uh, but the holiday has been reported or the fight has been reported. I don't, I don't remember very well. So he could not take the opportunity to go there and to fight with Zhao Bran. But he left uh, the camp on his own way. So what means he deserted. He went to Burma. He had the fight and he won the fight. Uh, he won the fight. He came back to Calvi and he was treated as a deserter because he's deserted. <laughs> but the commander in chief, the colonel of the regiment, Chef de Corps, he ordered him to come to his office and he told him, Dear Wandenberg, Legionnaire Wandenberg, normally I should put you 30 days in jail, but you acted as a legionnaire, uh, you represented the French for Legion in the best way, so I will give you only 10 days jail. <laughs> and this was his punition, you know. And uh, when Dominic Vandenberg left the French Foreign Legion, he went straight to Thailand. And he was a couple of years in a Muay Thai boxing camp. Then he joined the United States of America. He became an actor and he played a role in games, uh, no, gangs of New York, side by side with Leonardo DiCaprio and Cameron Diaz. What a stunning story, what a stunning friend, what an extraordinary legionnaire, Dominic Wanderberg. Unbelievable.